So the next part of this story is another funny one for the most part. I've mentioned a little bit in the previous videos about the properties that I'm going to tell you more about in this, this part of the story, but really this, this part would be categorized under the word foreclosure, which by the way, is a word that gets misused all the time. Foreclosure does not mean good deal. Foreclosure does not mean discounted property. Foreclosure means it's actually a legal term that represents a property that has been taken back by the lender because a borrower has not performed their contractual obligation to the lender, meaning they didn't pay, they didn't pay in a timely manner or some version of that. So it has to be foreclosed on, basically taken back by the lender. Okay. That's all that term means. And there are multiple stages of foreclosure. So that's a sidebar. So back to our story, the two properties that we did some version of a two year flip on my wife and I, that were the two homes at this part of our real estate journey were a town home, split level town home that we were able to purchase for 140 something thousand dollars and later sell for $225,000. Uh, after investing 30 something thousand dollars. So do the math. Bought it for 140 ish, put 30 ish in, sold it for 225, mostly because we needed the money and getting got us into the next house. So good math there. Good tax free profit in exactly two years. And then we did it again on the next one. But the, the, the story I want to tell you here is why we were attracted to that kind of house. And the answer is because we couldn't afford the type of home we wanted to live in otherwise. Uh, we, we, we could have found something to live in, but we were trying to make these leap frog forward motions, meaning to get into a significantly nicer home, a significantly better area so that before too long, we could be in our dream scenario. That was always part of the vision. This first house we bought was uh, a very good definition of the word nasty. It smelled bad. It looked bad. It had been poorly maintained because the previous owner had not been able to support their financial obligation to the lender, which is why it was foreclosed on. So we bought this house. You're talking about all the things you've seen on TV, disgusting carpet, old, old, old paint, uh, way out of date, everything. The funny part is we came in on such a limited budget that we ripped all that out and what we put in looked way better. But looking back on that now, you could laugh pretty hard with us at even our remodel look of it. It did look better. It felt fresh and clean and much more livable. Um, but we, we joke looking back that our kitchen countertops are the floors in most movie theaters. It's actually a granite called Galaxy Black, if you want to go look that up. A sparkly black granite tile, not a granite solid surface countertop, but a tile that became our kitchen countertops. Although it's really funny, the trend now is what we did then. We did all black cabinets in that kitchen. But looking back on it, that one was a really great remodel. We loved it. It was a townhome on a creek in a very private secluded neighborhood in the middle of a very, very busy part of Dallas. So it was a home run in many, many ways. The investment aspect of that was huge for us. The life we had there was really, really wonderful. We were the youngest people in that community by probably 50 years, but the foreclosure aspect of it, the discounted distressed property is what allowed us to get into a home that we loved, into a community that we loved, into a location that we loved that we otherwise would not have been able to do. So it doesn't have to be a foreclosure if you're trying to mimic that part of our journey, but it does need to be something that others were not willing to buy. And trust me, others were not willing to buy this property. As you're seeing some of the images on the screen, I'm sure you can echo that sentiment that it did not look like a place that you would have been fired up to live. And if you could smell those photos, I promise you, it did not smell like a place you would want to live either. But after ridding it of smoke smell and animal smells, it became a place we really, really wanted to be. And then our next home, also coming out of a foreclosure situation, uh, as I said in the previous video, we bought for $125,000 and sold later for $250,000. So uh, we probably put 45-ish into that one. So again, a really nice tax-free profit and allowed us to move forward. But going from the split level townhome to a two-story traditional single family, we almost doubled our square footage and actually paid less for the second one than the first one. 
So the story here really is just finding homes that other people did not want. I found the first one, my wife found the second one, and we loved them both. The gift that we have cultivated over the years is the ability to see something in that home that a lot of other people didn't. And so a lot of people don't want that to be part of your story. We did. And, and what we wanted to do was to be able to create something that was not already there, A, for our lifestyle and B, for our financial future, because that equity, that profit was not there. We were able to create that and add that to the home initially before we moved in and then through projects as we lived there. But we loved both of those homes. We loved the after look and feel and vibe of those homes. And we enjoyed the first one for two years and the second one for six years. So for an eight year period of our life, we were in what had been previously foreclosed upon homes that nobody wanted to live in. Both of them sat on the market for a long time. Both of them were properties that nobody wanted to live in, that we were able to make homes that we loved, we were proud of. And both times when we left, friends and family said, I can't believe you're leaving this property. What you've done with it is amazing. This is a great place for you. And that's really how you want to leave any property. It's not going to be fun for you to say we're leaving because it's been miserable here, right? But to be able to say we are leaving this way better than we found it. We have significant financial profit and it has been a profit. It has been profitable to our lives. We have benefited in many other ways. We loved both of those homes. We entertained like crazy. We had kids, we had babies in the second one. We cultivated friendships and ministry and all kinds of incredible things in both of these properties. So if that's something you're looking to replicate, that is one way to do it. To look at those foreclosed properties. Again, foreclosure does not mean good deals, but suffice it to say, or to use that term to represent under desired homes that need some work, that are not attractive currently, and that can be bought at a financial discount. It may be because of the condition of the property. It might be because of the situation the seller's in, or maybe it's because of the location or the trending that's happening in that area. But if you'll be patient and if you're creative, you can take these leapfrog steps forward in your journey the same way we did, and then hopefully ultimately end up in your dream scenario the way we are. So stay tuned for the rest of our journey. We'll tell you more about different chunks along the way. But that's the, the part of our journey that we refer to as the foreclosure period of our life, which was an eight-year part of our life. So stay tuned and we'll tell you more.